In the most shocking announcement since ChatGPT came out, what you're seeing right now is a video that was created from a text prompt. It's 17 seconds long. OpenAI has just announced Sora, and it feels five years out of anything we've seen in AI video before. I have seen nothing with this level of quality, length of video, and coherence before. It is groundbreaking. So they've said that Sora is able to generate complex scenes with multiple characters, where you can actually tell it what kind of motion you want and detail everything from your subject to the background. And it doesn't just understand what you're asking for in the prompt, it also understands how these things exist in the physical world they're in, so the movement and everything is realistic. It might look like Sora is a completely new kind of AI model, but it's actually still working off a diffusion model just like Stable Diffusion or Runway. They're just being very clever about it, and I'll tell you how in a second. But a diffusion model is where the AI model starts off with a video that looks like static noise and slowly removes that noise over many steps. And the breakthrough here is that it's giving the AI model more foresight so it can see many more frames at a time and in advance. So what this means is that a character can leave the frame for a bit, but the model knows the makeup of that character from other frames. So when they come back into the video as a character later, they look almost exactly the same. So consistent characters seem extremely possible now. There's also another innovation they came up with they refer to as patches, and they're representing video and images through small units of data, kind of like how ChatGPT treats words as a small unit. So imagine you have a big puzzle and each piece of the puzzle is a small part of a big picture. Sora breaks down videos and pictures into tiny puzzle pieces and calls these patches, and it allows Sora to understand and work with all kinds of visual data. So on top of that, the training data has very thorough captions, just like DALL-E 3. These captions help Sora understand the user's text prompt in relation to images that train the model. The more thorough the caption, the better it is for these models. And the bottom row here is an example. It shows Dolly 3 captions from OpenAI, and above it is Stable Diffusion, which has really short captions that are just kind of alt image text. And so this thorough caption is largely why Dolly 3 understands your prompt so well in comparison. In addition to text to video, Sora is also allowing you to take a still image and generate a video. So this pretty much means they're gonna have an image to video model at launch as well. And they can also extend the video to make it longer. So a lot of the features we've seen with Runway, Pika Labs, and existing generative AI video tools, it isn't released to the public yet though. So first they've made it available to red teamers, which refers to cybersecurity type professionals. They're gonna try and figure out how to do harmful things with it to better prepare OpenAI for risks. And some of these risks that they're concerned about are misinformation, hateful content, offensive images, kind of the things we expect. They've also said though, they're granting access to a number of visual artists, designers, and filmmakers to get feedback on how to advance the model to best help creative professionals. So this has major implications, not only for Hollywood, but also politics and media. If anyone can create a video of nearly anything they imagine, well, misinformation can get pretty problematic if it looks realistic, which it does. So OpenAI is building tools to detect misleading content. And one example of what they're doing is creating a detection classifier, which allows them to analyze the image and determine if it was made with Sora later on. The safety methods for their text to image tool Dolly 3 are actually gonna be carried over to Sora. And this is gonna stop anything that violates usage policies that we've seen before from them. So extreme violence, sexual content, hateful imagery, celebrity likeness, or the IP of others, which means you can't just recreate movies that already exist. OpenAI is releasing a technical paper that Runway Pika, all the other text to video companies will be able to access and leverage. So this is going to kick off a new era of AI video. It's the most insane thing I've seen in the space yet. We should all be kicking and screaming to get access. So that's what I'm about to do right now.